working on a piece of shit because my ex-wife got on my shit. Ugh. This has been a hell of a project, guys. Unbelievable. Got all kinds of breaking news. Tons and tons of breaking news, so let's get started real quickly here. Um, got the truck. Of course, not running. Thought it had a 4.6. Found out. It's the 5.4. I think this motherfucker's got a whopping 17 more horsepower, and that is absolutely incredible, for the love of God. Been working on the engine compartment, cleaning, detailing, fixing more vacuum leaks. Truck still doesn't want to idle. Scan this thing out nonstop. No cylinder misfires, nothing, no check engine light, and I decide I'm going to just change the coils and plugs. If it doesn't run after I do that, I'm done. I'm checking out. Now, I'm not going to recommend you guys to do this, but let me show you what I ran into real quick. Driver's side ignition coils. Don't know who you are. There's a factory motorcraft. Don't know who you are. And that looks like a Duralast. So technically, a bunch of random coils. You don't know the quality or where they came from. Let's go over here to the passenger side. There's two factory motorcrafts and again, two... Uh, different coils. Now, technically, I know what a lot of you are going to say. It doesn't matter. Well, sometimes it does. On these Fords, if you don't have a check engine light, that does not mean you do not have a misfire. So what I did was, I went ahead and changed out all the Ford plugs back with Ford plugs. It's a platinum plug. But the coils, I got another video coming up. I got those um, offline. You can kind of look down in here. Uh, my God, if you're preparing to do this job, guys... Get your big old glass tea and just relax because some of those are aggravating as hell. But anyways, so now we got new coils, new plugs, and it's just like, it's the moment. If it doesn't run, I'm checking out. There's still so much cosmetic work that's got to be done. Not to mention the, the motor's got like, a, what, 225 or so on the dash. So let me show you what happened. Now remember, this thing has never held an idle. You've always had to two-pedal it and it would shake and rattle and all kinds of crap. Holy crap. This is breaking news here by itself. This thing has never ran. Not like this. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that motor sounds great. I don't hear any lifter tapping. I don't hear any knocking of any kind. Let's give it a little gas. I mean, it sounds really good. It's got the side pipe. Okay, here we go. Exhaust pipe, excuse me. No smoking. This thing was on life support, basically. Because if that hadn't corrected us, I was done again. But oh my god, it corrected it. It corrected it. So. As you can see, I haven't got more or a whole lot done from... That's noticeable. I've been wiring up crap. Even the damn preamp's bad on this thing. So when you wire up the stereo, there's no freaking sound coming out the doors. I gotta run new wire. I mean, uh, thank God it's running. Now, all kidding aside, if you're a, a Ford guy and you're just checking out this video, check your coils. If you take a flashlight and dig down in there and start looking and start seeing random different coils, what I just did might work for you now i know i'm not trying to tell people just throw their money in the trash but again no check engine light no codes on my scanner and i got two different scanners not cheap ones all right guys uh i'm tired um i got a little bit of a headache matter of fact i got a sore throat coming in i think the kids have brought home a little flu bug for me and uh i think i'm gonna go inside and take a shot of liquor I'm not feeling good, but this has helped out. This has been great. Now, more videos to come soon, and uh, you guys have a good one.